Hey, hey, everyone. This is the Charisma Quotient. I'm your host, Kim Seltzer, a dating and makeover expert, where I will help you build confidence, make connections, and find love from the outside in. You've heard the phrase, you are what you eat, which means that it is important to eat good food in order to be healthy and fit. And what is interesting is that there's a lot of versions of this, right? And even in the Bible, there's a Bible version of that saying, you are what you eat. And it's really intended to mean for as he thinks in his heart, so he is, which I love because this so clearly spells out the symbiotic relationship and the metaphor of what you put in your body and how you think of yourself is symbiotic in nature. And when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you look good. And from the work that I do, as you all know, I work from the outside in, focusing on what you put on your body shifts the way that you move, the way that you think of yourself and the energy that you put out into the world. But what about what you put into your body? That is just as important. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you. Uh, I remember after my divorce, I went on something called, and I just call it this, the divorce diet. Now, this wasn't a diet that I intended to be on, um, and it wasn't intentional, nor was it healthy, but lo and behold, I lost all this weight because I was so stressed out, and I didn't realize how I was handling a lot of the stress, and it was was just by not eating. I just literally wasn't hungry, and because of that, I lost the taste for food and even wanting to eat, and I definitely needed to lose a few pounds. I'm not going to lie, but obviously, that wasn't a good way of doing it. Because I carried a lot of pounds from postpartum. Um, And I believe that is why when I had my red dress moment, as all of you probably heard at nauseum, and if you haven't, you can check out my TEDx talk. I tell it very detailed. Um, But when that personal shopper came to me and she asked me to try on this like loud colored dress that was three sizes smaller than I normally wear, it shook me because I didn't realize just how much weight I lost. I didn't see myself for months in my new body. And it took trying on that dress that catapulted me into incorporating a healthier lifestyle with exercise. I started eating healthier and lo and behold, I started feeling sexy. And I believe that the holistic and healthier approach allowed me to radiate outward, causing a glow that matched the color of my new red dress and other dresses after that. And because of that, and I'm not going to lie, I felt well hotter. And guess what? I finally, you know, being seen, I was finally being seen. And I began to be comfortable with that because, as I always say, that was really why I was wearing black for so long, because I wasn't comfortable being seen. So with me today, I have a special, very special guest, and she's a dear friend who is the queen of helping people feel hotter, healthier, and happier by focusing on what you put into your body. She is a eco entrepreneur. I love that, by the way, with a passion for film, fitness, and food as a podcast host, film producer, author, and international speaker. Her mission is to inspire people to the body's incredible ability to heal itself when given the tools it needs to do so. She is the host of the kick-ass podcast, The Food Heals Podcast, being hailed as the sex in the city for food. Food Heals brings together experts in the field of nutrition, health, and healing to teach you the best kept natural secrets to being hotter, healthier, happier, you. And as a filmmaker, she's just a jack of all trades. You're going to love her. For the past 15 years, she has directed and produced films and videos on the topics of health, wellness, fashion, my favorite topic, food, and more. And in 2019, her documentary, Powered by Plants, debuted at the French Riviera Fest in Cannes, France. I didn't know that, by the way. Additionally, she helps successful wellness entrepreneurs build wellness empires and create more impact, influence, and income in their business. Welcome, Allison Melody. 
And the crowd um, goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> what a great intro. I love our complimentary skills inside out, outside in. Well, we need both, right? We can't we can't do this without both. So thank you, Kim. I'm so oh, glad to be here. I know I've been trying to get you on here forever, girl. And I and what's so like full circle is we met originally on your podcast, I believe, is, right? Is like, that where we met? Honestly, I think we we met at a conference. I don't know, but it was great having you on. (laughs) I didn't like no, no, you like, I just remember the podcast being kind of the first time that I really connected with you. And that's why I love podcasting so much. But, you know, after that, we've certainly culminated our friendship and done a lot of speaking together even, you know, and so it's been cool. And the thing that I love about what you and I do too, is like what you were saying it is all about how you feel, right? And and there are different aspects. And I think we all would be amiss to not like recognize that what we put in our body has a huge impact. And I've never really talked about that before because when you do feel good, like you could do all these other things, put on the red dress, but inside your gut is killing you. <laughs> like it's gonna be hard to flirt, you know? And so <laughs> anyway, I would love for you to just kind of share your story a little bit and how you got into all this and what inspired you to do this. Yeah, well, Food Heals was born out of unfortunately a trauma, which many of our, you know, uh origin stories sometimes are. And that was I lost both of my parents to cancer by the time I was 25 years old, and I watched Western medicine completely fail them and doctors have no answers. And it was absolutely tragic and the worst thing I've ever been through. But what it did for me is it set me on a path to understand actually what wellness is and the body's incredible ability to heal itself when given the tools that it needs to do so. So I was like awakened to the fact that a healing miracle is possible even when the doctors say there's no time left or you have to be on this pill for the rest of your life or you're going to be in pain for the rest of your life. That's simply very often not true. And so I went on a mission to inform everyone I could that things like cancer and chronic degenerative diseases did not have to be a death sentence. In fact, this beautiful body that we've got is designed to heal. And so when we give it the tools it needs to do to heal, we can thrive in our lives. And of course, that comes down to not only being in good health, feeling good, looking good, healing yourself, mind, body, and spirit. And so all of these other themes came in and it was just like, my mission became how to help people heal themselves and live their most authentic best lives. And I know your mission is similar in helping especially women live their best, most fulfilled lives and find love. And so I just love how much alignment our missions have always been. Yeah, I know. And, And it is so true about just like how you get inspired about people you love going through adversity yourself. And like, When you started going through this, did you also start incorporating like all the stuff that you were learning to yourself? And did you see a difference? I'm a human guinea pig. So I would meet people after my parents passed away. I'm 25 years old. I had a a video camera, excuse me. It was before the smartphones were, you know, at our hips and before YouTube. And I had a video camera that my father had bought me and I would just go around and film people's stories. And this was pre YouTube, but eventually I started putting them on YouTube and everything. But I was meeting people with these incredible healing stories. Like they had juiced their way back to health. So people with diseases such as autoimmune conditions, chronic urticaria, um, cancer, um, ovarian cancer specifically. I'm trying to remember the ones that were early on, uh, multiple sclerosis and people were juicing their way back to health by drinking green juice made out of plants, made out of vegetables. And their skin was stunning, Kim. And I'm like, what is the secret? Well, the secret was plants. And so, yes, I experimented on myself. I was juice cleansing. I was eating raw fruits and vegetables. I was making smoothies and I still do all of this, but at the time it was revolutionary information to me. And then I gave up dairy and I was a whole different human. My skin completely cleared up. I lost weight. All the inflammation in my body went away. It was just like, who is this person in the mirror staring back at me? who didn't know she had health problems from the food that she was eating, right? So yes, <laughs> I always experiment on myself. I still do to this day. Give me a supplement. Let me try it. I will tell you if it works. Or not. <laughs> and now back to our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, and you're so good with that too, because you. I always learn the different products that are out there and vitamins and stuff, and it, it is cool. But I think also, and, and and I know this just even as a coach, you know, there's certain protocols that I may give clients and things, but I may have not tried it myself, or I don't like walk the walk or talk the talk. And that's what I love about you is that you really, you really do. And do you feel like when you started getting to know your own body that energetically it was different for you and even like who you were attracting? Did it, did it go that far out? Yeah. So at first it was very physical for me. I was learning that what I put in my body mattered so much. And I wasn't mm-hmm. putting much stock, Kimmy, into the thoughts that I was thinking or the people that I was surrounding myself. But naturally, as I was becoming healthier, I was becoming attracted to more and more healthy people. And so at the same time, that was up leveling and shifting my mindset as well to believe in myself, to believe that I could do anything, to believe in this world as a place where you have control over your life, where you can create your own life, whether you're an entrepreneur or wanting to do something in the world. You want to be a singer, a dancer, an actor, whatever. You can do it. You can do anything. Thing you want in this world. You can be anything you want in this world. But at first it was just physical. And then once I started healing the physical, I started healing the mental, emotional. And that absolutely was a product of my social life, the people I was surrounding myself with, and the up leveling of my beliefs, which turned into up leveling of the actions I was taking in my own life. And so, yes, it all it all came together very. Sim- um, is that a word? Sim- symbiotically. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> sure. Sometimes yeah, you just make up words on the show. We totally but- know what you're talking about. No, it is symbiotic and um, synergistic too, because as you start having more energy and you feel better, you're able to be more positive. And then that positivity attracts other positive people, you know? And so it is like a, like a domino effect. And, and I see this in all different aspects. And it's funny, I just had my dating retreat. um, And at the end, you know, obviously like dating is a big aspect of what I teach and what I talk about. But at the end of the retreat, everyone said the same thing. And I find this to be true just with everything is they all said, Kimmy, this really wasn't about the man. This wasn't about the woman. In fact, I don't even know if it was about dating. I said, "Uh (laughs) (laughs) uh-huh. What is it about everyone? And they all said, it's about me, you know, all at the same time. And it is when you take care of yourself and you could be going a mile a minute and doing all these crazy things. But if you're not slowing down enough to really pay attention to like what's going on inside you in ways of feelings and ways of nutrition, like it literally is eating you alive inside Yes, and it catches up. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no. And so I, I don't know, like when you're working with people, what would you say some of the common challenges or mistakes people make when it comes to like nutrition and what they're putting in their bodies and like even how it manifests? Yeah, well, I think, um, unfortunately, in our society, we are just wired to do things that are fast, easy, and cheap. And that's to the detriment of our health very often. And so instead of going to fast food, what can you cook at home? And people want to save time and save money. But there are ways to do that with healthy food as well. So it's just educating yourself on how to do those things that you can live a longer, healthier life and that you're not um, putting your children or family members on bad patterns for the rest of their lives as well. Because, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows to heal yourself. Everything bad that went in has to come out and it doesn't feel good, whether it's emotions Mm. or whether it's um, physical food and things like that. And so, you know, it's like, I just want to help people get as healthy as possible, as gently as possible. But yeah, mistakes that people are making are buying into the whatever they see in the media and on television as truth. So if something's being advertised to me, I question, well, who's making money off of that? So whether it's a pill to fix my ailment or something else along those lines, I go, well, what can I do naturally to heal my headache or whatever it might be? Uh, What plants can I put on my plate to make me feel better and look more radiant instead of buying an expensive chemical laden skin cream, right? And so instead of buying into what the advertisements are trying to convince you of or what the 
the sales people are trying to convince you of, go within and ask your body, what does it really need? What really nourishes me? And how can I make this affordable and sustainable at the same time? And there's so many options out there. Once you start to look for it, it starts to appear everywhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like when you're in the market to buy a car, all of a sudden, like you see them everywhere, you know, because you're really in tune with it. Yeah. No, that's so true. Well, are there certain symptoms that people have in your body that they should pay attention to knowing that they should be doing some sort of shift? Everything. If you don't feel good when you wake up every day, there's an imbalance and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, But people think that as they age, they are meant to feel bad. They are meant to be in pain. They are meant to suffer from a chronic disease. They are meant to be on cholesterol medication and blood, you know, all of these things, statins. And that is not the case. That is just what society has um, reflected back to us. And that's not true at all. There are many people living to hundreds of years old, thriving, like not living in a wheelchair, not living in chronic pain. And so I just want everyone to know that as you age, you don't have to do that. So any symptom that you're feeling, all you have to do to get to the root cause is go to a functional medicine doctor. A functional medicine doctor is different from a Western medicine doctor in the way that they treat their patients is their goal is to find the root cause of the pain or the ailment or the chronic condition. And so essentially what they do is they will test you. They'll test everything, your blood, your hair, your spit, your stool, all the things and get a comprehensive look at your health. Oh, are your hormones unbalanced? Oh, do you have a food allergy to this food that you're eating every day or a food sensitivity? Is your Are you inflamed? Are you suffering from inflammation? And so when you get a comprehensive look at your health, you can go, oh, well, I'm deficient in these vitamins and minerals. So all I have to do is supplement them to make me feel better. Oh, this hormone is not producing. So I can supplement that hormone. There are all these things that we can do to bring our body back into balance. It's called homeostasis. Homeostasis Mm -hmm. is when our body is in perfect balance and thriving. So if you're not thriving every day, there's a reason for it. And all you have to do is get to the root cause, supplement what you need to supplement, change a few things in your diet and lifestyle, and you can absolutely thrive at any age. I love that. And I love that you brought up the age thing, because I'm working with a lot of women, obviously, who are going through menopause and I I think hormones aren't talked about enough Mm -hmm. um, and how that really impacts like the energy. And so a lot of women will come to me. It's like, Kimmy, I, I don't have energy to flirt. (laughs) I have energy (laughs) to put myself out there and twinkle my eyes and twirl my hair when I'm feeling bloated. I'm really like tired, that kind of thing. And so are there actual like supplements too, that you work with, with hormones and women in particular? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, I want to say that I am not a functional medicine doctor, so I would absolutely go and get advice from someone more qualified than me. But what I can share is that many of the functional medicine doctors and practitioners that I work with have supplements and things like that, but it is very much based on your body. So it would be irresponsible for me right now to say, everyone go take this supplement to cure your hot flashes, because that wouldn't be accurate because it would depend on the person and their body. But a great book I can recommend for anyone going through this is by Dr. Neil Barnard. And I believe it's called, let me look it up really quick. Um, No More Hot Flashes, but his book is very comprehensive in helping women at this stage of their life because he believes that you do not have to suffer through the things that you're talking about right now. And if you have a lot of clients or listeners at that age, you know what? They can still feel amazing. And maybe you're going to get that energy back to flirt because, oh, you didn't have it because you were lacking this mineral or nutrient or your diet was, you were eating something that wasn't contributing to your le- longevity and your well being. Um, so let me look up. It's no more hot flashes. <laughs> oh my God. I love that. <laughs> I'm Googling it right now. Cause I want you guys to know the new science of food hormones. And I think it's health. No more hot flashes. The new science of food, hormones, and health. Oh, that's the name of my episode with him. Just Google it. I'm sure you can find the book. But for anyone who wants to get a comprehensive look at that age stage and get getting rid of hot flashes and things like that, definitely check out Dr. Neil Barnard. Yeah, no, that's so cool too, because it also trickles down to sex. You know, a lot of women- of course you know, aren't, they're not feeling sexual. And when you're not feeling sexual, it's hard to feel like the sexy woman going out there and dating. And so I I think it, this is really like a really great conversation that I don't think is talked about enough, to be honest. Um, are there, sir, I know you can't like, again, you're not a doctor, but are there certain um, 
I don't know, supplements that promote a glow per se, or like, you know, things about the skin or things, you know, cause I talk about the charisma glow all the time, <laughs> you know, that's just <laughs> from, from energy and flirting, but obviously there could be other things, you know, with your skin and energy inside too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, think about a lot of ingredients in skincare products like vitamin C. Well, yes, they're effective when you put them on your skin, but they're also very effective when you put them in your body. And so look up when some of the ingredients that are not chemicals on your skincare products and go, well, how can I take that internally? Like aloe vera is a great one that I take internally because it clears out your bowels. And also I put on externally because it freezes my face and moisturizes. And it's like, people are like, did you have Botox? I'm like, no, I had aloe vera because it froze my wrinkles. Oh my God. Right. All right. I'm totally trying that. I love that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Just little things like that. Yeah. Like anything and not anything Do your research, but things that you can put on externally, you can also put on internally. And then products to avoid because most of the reason that we have, you know, sagging skin and all of these things, or we have fat and all of that is because of what we're eating. And so if you look at what you can cut from your diet, things that are inflammatory foods, so you could look up some inflammatory foods. Um, for me, it was absolutely dairy. Dairy makes uh. me inflamed. It gives me pimples. My body rejects it. It may or may not be the case for you. But if you're listening to this and you're like, you know what? Every time I do have dairy, I feel this or feel that. Then do an elimination diet for a period of time and see if you feel better. See if you look better, right? And I think it's something like people on my show way smarter than me have said this. 90% of the population are totally lactose intolerant. So it's very, very likely that you have a food intolerance to dairy. Perhaps you don't but it's something to look at, right? And if you go to that functional medicine doctor, they can determine whether or not that's true for you. And if it is, maybe your skin will clear up just like mine did, right? So yes, look into the sup. What When you go to the functional medicine practitioner, you'll learn what supplements you're lacking. And when you fill those in, your body goes to that perfect balance, that homeostasis. And I believe that's when we're the most radiant, right? Oh, totally. And and all the old wives tales, Kimmy, like all the things that we saw in our parents, like like good housekeeping books, putting um, the cucumbers on your eyes. That stuff works for a reason. Plants heal. <laughs> it's it's so true because we've gotten so into the synthetic stuff. You know, we're just in that world right now and, and the advertising and the marketing on it too. We just believe that those are better just based on the perception. But going back to basics, to your point, I think, I mean, and obviously it's so much better going to the natural stuff. Yeah, no, that's an aloe vera, really. Oh my God. Like, that's so simple. Okay, let, me, okay, like, let me tell you what I do first. Okay, okay, so this is how you freeze your face for the night. Um, you take some of uh, the bentonite clay masks and you okay. do a mask. And you, have you ever done those? They freeze your face too temporarily. Like you can't move your face. Like, mm, have you ever done one? No. Okay. Oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> no, no, it's great. It's great. Okay. okay, okay. So you do the bentonite clay mask mask, and then it gets hard, and then you wash it off, and you're like, pores are all cleaned out. It's great. And then you do the new face, which is a gadget. It's like a, do you know what a new face is? It's like a laser gadget. Is that the roller thing? Oh no. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. I'm going to look up exactly what it's called because I didn't know I was going to be asked this. So let me see exactly uh, what it is. Okay. Microcurrent. So the okay. new face is this microcurrent thing and you just roll it on your face and then they have a um, cream that you put on after that the new face comes with. But I don't use that because it has chemicals in it that I don't want on my mm. face. Instead, I do the aloe vera and my face is glowing and frozen. And I'm just like, hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no Botox here, baby. <laughs> Wait, does it wear off? Does your face like droop after or no, what? Oh my God. This is just like a four, 24 to 48 hour glow up. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, that's fantastic. And you know, all of these little things really build confidence, honestly. Like, yes. And it, it it's it's the small stuff that add up to the kind of bigger win, you know, and in, in ways of, you know, feeling sexy. And you can't just focus on one thing. You can't just focus on mindset. You can't just sit there and like analysis paralysis and say, okay, I'm ready to date. Like all of these things. And that's why like you and I love the whole holistic approach thing really does. It does matter, you know? So, cause I would love to talk about just wellness to begin with. Like when you were, cause I know you do so much more than just the food thing. Like how do you integrate the food and wellness and mindset to really help people? 
Um, so my goal is really to create a platform for people to share their stories. So mm -hmm. from doctors and nutritionists to people who have an amazing healing journey. My, I feel that my job is to provide a platform for them to share their stories, to educate and inspire people that they can have a healing miracle. So I am not sitting here um, as the expert on health, but through my books, my films and my podcast, I want to provide a platform for other people to share. And so that's really kind of where I see my role in this. Now, of course, yeah. if you ask me for advice, I'll give it, but I'll also refer you to a doctor or nutritionist or someone way smarter than me. But of course, course, if you hear my story and you're inspired, then I've done my job. And then you go find out what is right for you in this world of healing and health. <laughs> I love that. Just providing a platform and resources for people. Cause yeah, I, I know a lot of, um, like I just recently worked with a woman who, you know, she wanted so badly to, I put together a dating plan for her and I was telling her to do all these things. And, you know, part of that is being social and getting out. And she was having some health issues and she's like, Kimmy, I want to, like, I have that desire, but like, I don't know what's going on in my body. I literally can't move. And she was mm. just lethargic and the doctors couldn't figure out what was going on. And sometimes just the regular dog or Western medicine, whatever have you, they, they don't have all the answers. And that's why it is good to have all these resources. You know. Exactly. And my heart absolutely goes out to your client and anyone else who's feeling that way, because I don't want you to miss out on love and living your best life because you physically don't feel well. And so let's address what that is, what's causing that. And sometimes, Kimmy, it can be something like a depression causing a physical ailment. So sometimes, yeah. you know, it's our emotions that are causing something. And sometimes it's something physical. People don't even realize the amount of environmental toxins that they're exposed to and all of their beauty products and all of their household cleaning products and all of the off gassings from the paints and the furniture in their homes are can be severely affecting certain people. And so we are bombarded by toxins all of the time. So how are you detoxing your body every single day? For me, it's my nutrition, my supplements, my green juice, my smoothies. What can you do every day? And what can you eliminate so you can start feeling better? And anyone that's not feeling well, yeah, go to a functional medicine doctor and get to the root cause. And in a few weeks, you can have a total health transformation. Now, of course, it depends on you. Sometimes these things take longer because it took us a long time to create these conditions in the body. But if you're willing to put in the time and the work to get to the root cause, then you got your whole life ahead of you to flirt and find love and be happy and be creative every day. And so don't let anything hold you back, right? Go get to the root cause, take action, believe that you can heal and you will believe that you can find love and you will put on that red dress and go to the doctor. Like, you know, <laughs> we got to love that. Yeah. <laughs> they should have red gowns actually. When the, the, you know, the gowns that you put on when you're yes. at the doctor. Yes. Oh my God. Well, and, and your message is so perfect and, and almost like meta to like what happens sometimes even in life or in dating where you might think one thing is the cause or the one thing is the problem. And then what happens, you get hyper-focused on that one thing. But the reality is, is that there's so many other variables and other things that can, you know, change the result of, you know, and, and I see this all the time, you know, men will come to me, oh, all women are drama queens or, you know, all, all men are unavailable and narcissists or whatever. And the answer is kind of like what you said, well, I believe you, like, that's all you're seeing. And right. so if that's all you're seeing, then you're doing something to just see that and attract that. But if you kind of like, you know, open things up and look at other variables, maybe things you can do for yourself. So you track something different. Now we're getting a different result. Well, the body is the same way as you exactly. were saying. Um, and I'm glad you mentioned that about the, the depression piece, because, you know, somebody might get diagnosed as being depressed, but really like there's something else going on in their body, why they can't move and be motivated. Yeah. I mean, it can be a gut issue and these things can then perpetuate each other. So you've got a gut issue and you're depressed. The depression is hurting the gut. The gut is helping the depression. And so you got to work on both. And I don't want to scare anyone, but it's like, do the work and you'll see the results and things can happen quickly and change. And then um, to your point earlier, it's like, yeah, what happens in the dating world, that's the same with the health world is, and the mental health world is we make beliefs 
based on experiences. Mm. And then we carry them into all other experiences. So if I have a thought about something, I go, well, where did that come from? Right? If I ask myself where that come, came from, sometimes I can trace it back and, and go, that thought came because I was made fun of on the playground when I was three years old. And I don't need to carry that anymore. But we carry our traumas from grade school forever unless we recognize them, heal them, deal with them. And that's why, you know, in psychology, they always say, oh, you're going to marry your father and marry your mother, right? Uh, because you're going to continuously be working out the issues of what you didn't get love when you were a child with your partner, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend for the rest of your life until you heal those issues yourself. And then you meet the man or human or woman or person of your dreams. The person of your dreams could have been there the whole time, yes. but you didn't have the energy to match them because you were still holding on to those misbeliefs from the path, from the past, excuse me. It's the same with health. It's the same with relationships. So if you have a thought, a misbelief, a victim mentality mode, whatever it is, and you go, oh, well, all men are narcissists. That's all you're going to see. Well, all women are drama queens. That's all you're going to attract. So let's stop that right now. It's the same with health. If you go, well, I'm old and I'm always going to feel bad. I'm always going to be in pain. I'm never going to be able to change my diet. Well, then you're right. So challenge that. Amen, sister. <laughs> now I was going to ask, like, I was actually going to ask you for parting words of wisdom, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if I could top that or you. Like, that was amazing. <laughs> no, but I forgot I what I said. So hopefully it was good. Yeah. Well, good thing we recorded this and now you'll be able to hear it all the time. Um, and it is, it, it's so true. And I think, um, again, as, as a closing, it is such a metaphor of what we put in our bodies to life you know, and whatever you're holding onto, or that's not serving you, not working for you, then get rid of it and replace it with something that benefits you. So I, I, I came up with my parting word of advice. You did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go for it. I'm wondering if it's appropriate. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Okay. So, um, you know, that. Well, what Kim does is she helps people find love. And part of love is feeling good in your sexual health. Well, do you know the number one thing uh, or plant for women's sexual health? Ooh, do tell. It is the pineapple. I just the pineapple. That. Yeah, okay. What's what what's with the pineapple? I guess it has some enzymes in it. I don't know. Google it, but it makes us women taste good. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> now I feel like the music should come on. This is like, so <laughs> wow. and more of like, bam, but chicka, bam, you know, like, <laughs> oh my God. Good thing. I love pineapple. I really have what that would suck if you didn't like pineapple. However, um, thank you for sharing that secret and all your knowledge. And uh, I adore you. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, I adore you too. Thank you for having me, Kim. And thank you for joining me today, you listening. This has been the Charisma Quotient. I'm your host, Kimmy Seltzer. And remember, you can build confidence, make connections, and find love from the outside in. And if you want to know more, make sure you go to my site, KimmySeltzer.com. And if you are going down a dark path in your health, and mental health even, and it's affecting your love life, hop on a call with me, grab the resources Allison told you about, listen to her podcast, go to her website, and, and we'll all help you map out a plan and getting you into that wellness state. Just click the link you see in the show notes and schedule that with me. And who knows, that one call could change the entire course of your life. And remember, working on you is working on your dating life. That's all for now. Mm -hmm.